franchise. CP the franchise. NBA analyst and Knicks fan TV. There he is. 12 out of 13, CP. 12 out of 13. I think I should say, if you can win 12 out of 13, then you should win two playoff series, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let, let's take a step oh. back here, Max. First oh. and foremost, I have to applaud you. You did something very courageous yesterday on cold take. You got out in front of America <laughs> and apologized <laughs> to Julius Randle. I felt like I had a hand in this, Max, because this has been a 12-step program for you hmm. since you sold out on Knicks Nation. We are trying to come back into the fold little by little. I understand that. No, I'm not that. trying to come into any fold. I understand I, that. I, no, no, I'm not trying to come. I make the folds, first of all. I was once <laughs> the voice of the consciousness of the Knicks. Now it's the Lakers, and I happen to be a jinx. That is true. But CP, yeah. I'm not. I'm giving credit where credit's due. It is undeniable. Yeah. If you win 12 out of 13 games, you are playing very good basketball. And Julius Randle is he ain't he ain't really an MVP consideration. In other words, you're not gonna. No one's gonna vote for him number one MVP. But he's top five. He's playing at MV. He's playing like a yeah. five star player. I gotta give it up, CP. As John Maynard Keynes said, or or Samuelson, the Nobel Prize winner, but Keynes is usually credited. When my yeah. when the facts change, so does my opinion. What about you, sir? I'm not gonna front. He's playing. He's balling. Julius is balling, Max. When you talk about 13 times he scored 30 or more, Julius Randle is playing at an MVP caliber level. As yeah. I said on previous shows, averaging 20, 10, and five, which over 40 percent shooting from three only three players have done this in nba history that's larry bird nicole Jokic, and julius randall is headed that way mm -hmm. forget the scoring statistics how about the passing tom thibodeau has emphasized the corner three to execute on offense julius randall is leading the league with over 80 okay T he's ranked 10th in the league in points created off of assists 14th in the league in uh, total assists as well. So he's being a playmaker. He's making his team better. This is the Julius Randle that we wanted here when we got rid of Porzingis and we're scrambling for options. Julius has been that guy and we have never looked back. But make no mistake, Max, as I've told you on the show several times, Derek Rose is the X factor. Julius has been the guy. He's been the MVP of this team. Derrick Rose is going to be the reason why we yeah, lock in at way, number four Rose is and out, going to win this playoff series. When Derrick Rose is out, they're not the same team. Derrick Rose has been playing yeah. excellent. But listen, you care a lot about the Knicks. In New York, people care about the Knicks. The rest of the country doesn't care. So let's talk about teams the rest of the country cares about, starting with the Los Angeles. And by the way, now I, the Knicks should, if they're going to play the Hawks, they should win their first round series. Yeah. Let's see them win a second round series because I spent my whole life basically when the Knicks were a powerhouse getting bounced yeah. in the second round. You know, second round Whoop. treadmill, that's where the also-rans are. Then that became a thing like, oh, if only the Knicks could get bounced in the second round every year. And now here you are nice. back there. Congratulations. Now, let's talk about the Lakers because people are interested in that yeah. team. Sure. CP, they were spiraling. And then no LeBron, no Schroeder playing Denver. Not Denver's not playing the second of back-to-back. -back. Yeah. Denver's been playing really well since Murray went down. Like, Jokic is a monster. And you know what I saw, CP? I want you to react to this. Mm. Last year, Denver gets by the Clippers. And they had Jokic and Murray, right? Yeah. And yeah. they get to their series with the Lakers and get bounced in five because Jokic was really no match for AD. Like, yeah. AD, uh, both ways, was just getting it. I saw that again last night. I saw the defensive guy, AD step up who could also score – and my God, the, the Lakers won a game they kind of really needed to win against a yeah. really good team without either playmaker, or playmaker in their backcourt. Yeah. This is the Anthony Davis that you saw last year in the bubble in the Western Conference Finals and in the finals. A guy that can get it done for you on both ends of the court. I told you this a couple weeks back when you asked if LeBron James is still the best player in the league. I said, with this Laker team, he doesn't necessarily have to be because Anthony Davis is going to be critical to them repeating. And AD was certainly on the money last night. The Laker team held the Nuggets to 89 points. Even though the Lakers have been spiraling, they still have the number one ranked defense in the league. Defense wins rings. Defense wins games and that's what's going to carry them not only ad but alex caruso is a pivotal player for their defense and he just got back last night got into the starting lineup and helped them seal the victory wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i know that you haven't you've never gotten out of new yeah. york but did you just say axed did you put the did you do it with the k in front of the s i didn't know you were an axed guy i never heard you say axed before axed i said axed 
I thought you did. Maybe I'm mistaken. I said C- CP, the franchise? CP with aspirations to one day sit in the very <laughs> seat I'm sitting right now? <laughs> CP, you have listen, to broaden your horizons. You have national talent. What are you doing in your Max, mom's basement talking about the Knicks? Listen, this this is my palace. I'm in the CP, the franchise's palace. This is a New York Knicks house, but it's also a Laker house. To be honest with you, my wife is a Laker fan, so I, mm-hmm. I am tapped in. But and this you and is your a wife Knicks are house. Living in your mom's basement still? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's for lunch. That would be a little cheese. weird. You got grilled cheese for lunch with a little lunchables or something. What she got going today? No, nah, I, I I did a little Thai food today. Did a little Thai takeout. Food, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had a lot to do. But make no mistake, Max. Yes. Yes, we are the number one show for the fans by the fans when it comes to covering Knicks. But CP, the franchise, is also an NBA analyst. So let's go. What's, what's oh, next? I'll, I'll tell you talk? this. If I, if I was still a Knicks fan and they just won 12 yeah. out of 13, I'd definitely be yeah. tuning in to hear uh, yeah. to, to see CP, you know, lie yeah. to me about the Knicks on, uh, well, on well, Knicks fan TV. Hey, and I don't know. We have other hey, topics to do. I need to talk to all you right, about All right. LeBron come on. James. Let's go. Let's go. Let's talk about LeBron James. Yeah. He said, CP, I was shocked about this. Forget yeah. about the plan for a second. Whoever should get fired, that tells me he's under pressure and that the plan is actually good for the league, right? Yeah. Like, you can't rest. Mm-hmm. LeBron, it's not getting any hype. LeBron said, I know we said something like this before in the past, but CP, if I get back to 100%, and then yesterday I misquoted him. I was like, he's like, I don't know if I will. He said he doubts he's ever going to be 100%. What is, why is this going under the radar? LeBron, da- is he still the ble- best player in basketball, CP? He's certainly one of them. Right now, I got to give that distinction to Kevin Durant, unfortunately. But LeBron mm-hmm. is certainly at the top of the game. Listen, he's got to stop complaining. Just last year, he was in favor of the playing game. Now he's whining about it. The Lakers are sitting in fifth, half game up on Dallas, and a game up on Portland. Handle your business, and you won't even have to be in the playing game. But make no mistake, Max, when they come across that juggernaut New York Knicks on May 11th, In Staples Center, they better bring their A game because Julius, RJ, and Derrick Rose are coming to take heads off. So LeBron better be ready. But make no mistake, like I said, with the the Lakers, defense is going to be their calling card. They need LeBron and Schroeder back healthy. They have to figure out the big man rotation. You, as, as you heard, a lot Gasol of the sound bites. Pretty good, CP. I got to yeah. tell you this. Right. Gasol was looking right. bad, especially defensively in space. And it was yeah. like, maybe he's the third. Maybe Harrell's better at center. Then they get Drummond. Okay, Drummond can carry the offensive load. But when Gasol yeah. got into the game last night, his, his um, basketball feel was obvious. His passing yeah. ability, like his the, – his, Ability to defend a, a bigger kind of guy was obvious, and maybe yeah. he's best in their lineup right now. If you listen to the sound bites from Taylor Horton Tucker, you listen to Kuzma. They want Gasol in that lineup more so than even Andre Drummond. Why? Because he gives them more spacing. He gives them room to operate. He, he lets AD be AD and give yeah. the guards more room to, to drive to the lane. So, as I said, it's going to be very interesting to see how they rotate their big man in and out. Drummond. Gasol, how do they keep Montrez Harrell happy? You know, the reigning sixth man of the year. That's going to be the big thing in how those guys build chemistry with Anthony Davis as well. But I think the Lakers will be fine. Just play their games. They should be good. Avoid the playing game. But watch out for the New York Knicks on May 11th. Oh, my God. This is, talking to a Knicks fan, it's like a comedy sketch. doesn't matter what it is. 12 out of 13, Max, you got to respect it. Not only that, I talk about the defense. You talk Over about, the last you know, 15 the vaccine, games, the, the, the team has been vaccine. the number one ranked offense. Hey, it's number great one ranked the offense the last getting 15. vaccinated, right, CP? Yeah, it is great. And how about those Knicks? <laughs> well, the country has to wake up, nice but I'm glad weather, you're waking right, up, Max. Well, it's sunny I'm today, glad you are waking up. Listen, I'm glad CP you're waking up. The 12-step program is working for you. 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern. Also, wherever you yep. get your podcast, Sirius XM Channel 80. CP, I have um, Ro- Raj's internet went down. Now it's back, and he forgets to mute himself right away. So, Raj, do you want karma. to be on TV? That's like, karma. Let's, here, there he is. Raj, there's Raj. Hey, Raj, say hi the, on TV. The diabolical producer, Raj Groves. Yeah. That's karma. You, you know that. All these yeah. times you guys have been sabotaging my audio, That's dodging the Knicks smoke. Now he it comes a, back to He makes to a good point, him. Raj. You've sabotaged him a lot of times, and now his payback. Yeah. So, um, CP, I want to talk about the Phoenix Suns because they deserve sure. to be talked about. I, you know, we were arguing this, we were debating it on first take today. Much like Julius Randle, it's not that I don't think CP3 is, is a top five MB, MVP candidate, but does, yeah. that's, or top, on, the, on the MVP list, that's different than saying an MVP candidate. I don't think it's possible yeah. that you can vote for Julius Randle or Chris Paul as the MVP, given what Jokic has done this year. 
uh, until recently what Dame was doing, but he's fallen off a little because he's exhausted. He was carrying the load the whole time. But the yeah. Suns, CP, they were 8-0 in the bubble. They have a terrific team. They have the best record in the West now. Best record in the NBA when you count the bubble regular season by quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Do they have a chance to win the chip this year? No, I don't think they have a chance. But remember last week, you laughed at me when I put them second in the West. I, ab- I put them third above the Clippers. And right after that, they beat the Jazz and they Never beat laughed. the Clippers that same week. They deserve respect. Why I don't think I Chris Paul is going to win the MVP, but he certainly deserves that respect. Yes, the Suns finished the bubble hot, Max, but there's no yeah. way they get into the number two and creeping in on number one in the West without Chris Paul. I agree. He's a team He's changer. Valuable. Yeah, he's a team changer. So when it comes to the MVP race, yes, you have to factor in the numbers, and that definitely belongs to Nikola Jokic, 26-11-8. and eight. They're 12-5 and five without Jamal Murray, keeping the Nuggets uh, treading water, and third in the West, at West. Jokic deserves it, but CP3 definitely deserves his accolades. That Suns team is clicking. Their offense is dynamic. Their defense can get it done for you. It's not enough to win a championship, but they certainly des- deserve a lot of CP, credit. Scott, Monty Williams, Coach of the Year. I want to get one in real quick. Scott Brooks yeah. said that Russell Westbrook's second on the all-time point guard list. And I, Westbrook's yeah. my favorite player. I love the way he like all out all the time. But yeah. he's not the second best point guard in the league no. right now. How is he the second best point guard of all time? The averaging yeah. a triple double over four seasons is amazing. It's amazing, you know. Like, but yeah. it's kind of like hitting for the cycle in baseball. You know, it shows a lot. You're getting on base a lot, so you're you're, you're high batting average on base percentage type guy, maybe yeah. quick bat. You hit for power, home run. You you hit a triple, it means you probably have some speed. But so it indicates good stuff, and it's a great game to have. But it's not as good as two home runs, a double, and a single, even though that's not quote-unquote a cycle. Like, Russell yeah. Westbrook going for 25, 10, and 10 ain't Harden going for 36, 11, and 8. You know, it's just, right. but so I want to give him props for doing something that's never been close to been done, to, to, to being done, but at the same time, not overstated. Where do you have Russell Westbrook right now in the league, and then we got to yeah. get out of here? You're right, in the league. I mean, if you're going to put Harden in that point guard list, I put Harden above him. How about Steph Curry? Who's having an MVP caliber season? That's two guys. You got to put Steph Curry above there. You know, Steph Curry has three championship rings. Where do you factor in winning in this? Even though Westbrook's career winning percentage is up there, um, there's still other guys that I factor in ahead of him. I put Chris Paul up there with him. I even put Jason Kidd up there with him. What 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 would Russell Westbrook do with those two New Jersey Nets teams? Let's keep it right now. Luka and LeBron are basically, you can call them guards or forwards, but they're running the offense. Luka and LeBron. If Harden accounts, why don't they? Yeah. Right. CP, the franchise, I'm very happy for you. This is, as I say, like a Knicks fan's bar mitzvah. (laughs) 12 out of 13 games they've won. They have a chance to get to the second round of the playoffs. They'll never be this high again. This is is the highlight of their lives, watching the Knicks. Uh, I'll say this one last thing. As yeah. I said, you sounded very contrite yesterday in your apologies to Julius Randle. Well, he deserved it. I went it. back to the fan base on Knicks Fan TV's Instagram and asked if you can be invited See, back into the cookout. No, no, you did it again. I, I I've asked. I've never heard you do – oh, asked. That's right. See, I've yeah, never heard I you asked. do an ask before. Yes. yes. No, you're getting all New York I, on it. That's why. You're like, <laughs> yeah, I went back to the fan base and asked. See, the Knicks win 12 out of 13 and CP is giving me an axed. I hear you. Yeah, but I you know asked. what? That's right. I lived in L.A. for six yeah. years. Yeah, well, you sold out. But anyway, I asked them if they invited you back into the cookout. You're still not there yet, but you're working on it. The 12-step program is working. Nick's Therapy, hosted by CP The Franchise. Tune in next Tuesday on ESPN+. Plus. Thank you as always, CP. We'll talk next week. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. CP The Franchise on the Goodyear Hotline, helping you discover the road ahead.